Hey guys, how's it going? Today we are going on a villager hunt. We have an open space on the island because I finally decided to let go of my OG Reverie Villager Snake. He was one of the very first villagers on my island along with me and Canberra. I let Canberra go early because she was not my favorite, but Snake has stayed with us ever since March and last night he asked me if he could move out and I said that was okay and so yes here we are back at the airport ready to do some villager hunting I have my Nook Mile tickets here I have 11 because I was miscounting when I was getting them uh, from the Nook Mile terminal so we have 11 and yeah we're just gonna jump right into this it has been a really long time since I went villager hunting I feel like most of the villagers that I've gotten recently I have gotten from the campsite so I feel like I haven't really gone villager hunting in a really long time actually the last time I went villager hunting I was trying to find a sisterly personality villager and I went through basically all my nook miles and I couldn't find one that I liked so I ended up going with Marshall because I'm basic and also I ran out of nook miles so I just had to stick with Marshall so Maybe today we will find our sisterly personality villager. That's the only personality that I'm actually missing on my island. Or we'll just find someone cool, who knows. I'm kind of open to anything right now, so yeah, let's go. Island number one. <gasps> Ooh, nice. And we have the Aurora Borealis here tonight with us. That's so pretty. Currently on my island tonight, we do not have that. On my island tonight, we have some shooting stars, but no Celeste, which is kind of annoying because I've had shooting stars the past couple of days. And, uh, ooh, Olivia. I actually really like Olivia, but I'm not going to take her because I'm pretty sure she's a snooty villager. And I'm not really looking for a snooty villager right now. But yeah, I've had shooting stars for the past few days on my island and I haven't seen Celeste anywhere and I'm just searching for a DIY here, don't mind me. But yeah, so I've been searching for Celeste the last few days. I have not seen her at all. I have combed every edge of my island and have not seen her and I think that's really rude because like I said, I've had shooting stars three nights in a row and no Celeste. So hopefully she shows up tomorrow. But aside from my hunt for Celeste, that's not why we're here today. We are here today for a villager and I'm not going to rest till I find one. Or until I run out of Nook Miles and then I guess we just have to take like the best person that we see. But we'll see what happens. I have built my Nook Mile tickets back up since the Marshall situation. So we're good to go for a long time. We'll see what happens. And I will also apologize for the rambling because you know this is how I get when I haven't filmed a video in a long time. I just start rambling and saying what's on my mind but <laughs> I'll try to keep it a little less chatty from this point forward. Here we are island number two and who um I don't know his name but I'm gonna say no <laughs> gonna say no Spike yeah he is a grumpy villager and I already have a grumpy villager his name is Fang and yeah I'm I'm good with that let me just check for a DIY I don't know why I keep checking for DIYs on mystery islands because I literally think that I have basically like 99% of the DIYs a lot of the ones I'm missing are the Celeste ones but you never know you never know sometimes you might find a DIY that you don't have and that would be nice. Mystery Island number three and we have another hippo in the same color scheme as Spike. Who are you? Bubbles. Bubbles sounds like a peppy villager. I have a peppy villager. I have Bianca. One peppy villager is enough for me. Thank you. Moving on. Ooh, Bamboo Island and <gasps> Genji. Hey. He actually really suits this environment, I think. But I 
do not want him for my island. <laughs> I'm sorry, Genji, you're a bunny and you would have been cute to replace Snake, but I feel like I have a lot of male villagers on my island right now, so I'm okay without him. And there's, <gasps> there is a DIY on this island. Let's see what it is. A golden casket and I already know it okay lame we're dropping that down because I already have a million DIYs that I need to get rid of on my island so yeah onward oh my goodness I believe that this is Rhonda yes Rhonda and I can't tell what personality she is. I thought she might be snooty because of her appearance, but her voice didn't sound snooty. So let me look this up. Okay, so Rhonda is not a snooty villager. She's actually a normal villager, but I currently have Pico as a normal villager. So we're gonna have to pass. All right, island number six. We gotta climb to the top, who we got? Ooh, this guy, what your, what's your name, bro? What's your name? Lopez. Lopez seems cool, but like I said, I feel like I'm not really looking for another meal on my island. Looking for that female energy. I feel like I need that sisterly villager that I was talking about because I have two normal villagers, I believe. I have Morang and Pico. I have Marshall and Fang who are grumpy villagers. I have Cody, he is a jock villager. I have Bianca who's peppy. I have Boomer who's lazy. And am I forgetting anybody? I can't check on this island, but yeah, I don't I don't know if I'm forgetting oh, I am forgetting people. Marshall is not a grumpy villager. Marshall is a smug villager and so is Leopold. And then I also have Tipper who is snooty. So I feel like I need that sisterly villager or s someone fun, someone cute. I don't know. We're, we're gonna keep searching. We still have not even hit double digits yet. So let's go. And on this island we have a monkey Elise what is her personality I don't think I've ever had a monkey villager on any of my islands so possible contender oh Elise is a snooty monkey villager and is also the only snooty monkey interesting I would have pegged her for a normal villager because she has that vibe but I, I guess not I guess she's kind of snooty and we don't need a snooty villager so on to the next island another island and another rhino villager whose name I don't know what's your name bro Hornsby oh he seems cute his catchphrase is schnozzle. What kind of villager is he? Let's look him up. I feel like he's new. I feel like he only arrived in New Horizons. Oh, actually he has been around for a long time. And he's a lazy villager. Okay. Not really looking for another lazy villager, but he is a cute one. So maybe if Boomer were to move out, he would be a contender. But for me, right now, I do not need a lazy villager. So off we go. Ooh, Spiral Island and a horse villager called Victoria. Oh my goodness. Nice to meet you. I've totes heard of somebody Trey cool who's from here. Okay, Victoria's peppy and I'm not looking for a peppy villager. So goodbye. Another cake island. Let's see who's at the top this time. An 
Anteater. All the names of the villagers seem to be escaping me tonight. Snooty. Snooty doesn't sound like a snooty villager. I feel like that's a little bit on the nose. Let's see what personality she has. Oh, Snooty is a snooty villager. That's cute. Uh, but like I said earlier, not really looking for a snooty villager. And I've never really been a big fan of the anteater villagers. So we're going to keep searching. Island number 11. We're back on Bamboo Island. We have this guy, Coach. Coach is... I feel like you gotta be a jock villager with a name like Coach. You can't not be a jock villager if your name's Coach. So, yeah. And with that, we shall leave him. Though, there's a DIY, so let's see what that is real quick. Gold Arowana model. Already got that. Okay. So, now I'm out of Nook Mall tickets. So please excuse me for a short intermission while I go get some more and we shall continue our hunt for a sisterly villager or just someone that I want on my island. We'll see what comes first. A few moments later. All right, we're back. We're loaded back up with some Nukma tickets and we're off again. Okay, so here we are, another island. Let's see. Who we got? Ooh! Oh! Oh my goodness! A kangaroo! Marcy! Hello! She looks cute! I don't feel like I've ever seen her before. Although, <laughs> at the rate this is going tonight, I act like I've never seen any Animal Crossing villager in my life because I haven't been able to name any of them. Uh, let's look her up real quick. Marcy is a normal kangaroo villager. A normal villager. Damn it, girl, if you were a sisterly villager, I would have taken you in his heartbeat. You look cute as a button. And yeah, I actually feel like I looked up the number of sisterly villagers in Animal Crossing before. There's not many of them. And I feel like half of the villagers that I want to be sisterly villagers are actually normal villagers. But like I said, I already have two normal villagers on my island. And I feel like three would be overkill. So yeah, we're not resting until we get this sisterly villager or until we get someone that is not going to be annoying to talk to because most of the Animal Crossing personalities get really annoying to talk to after a while and having too many of the same personality on your island means that you never really want to talk to any of your villagers because they all say the same dang thing. So a little variety would be nice. Fidget Spinner Island. I see a hamster in the distance. <sighs> Clay, looking like something shocking. Look at you, bro. You got a little mask thing going on. I feel like he's a lazy villager. I feel like I've never seen him before either. <laughs> but yeah, gives off lazy villager vibes. Not here for that. Time to move on. Oh my goodness, it's Moose, a villager I actually know. <laughs> let's, let's speak to him. Oh my god, it's not even Moose. I'm out of it. Moose has the one eyebrow up. He's got the curly like sideburns, Rizzo. Oh my goodness, I didn't notice this before, but his hair comes down like a mustache. Oh my goodness, I always thought he just had a bob before, but nah, that's like a mustache situation going on. Okay, hello Rizzo. You are a grumpy villager, and that's not what I need. I keep calling them grumpy villagers, but I feel like that's not actually their personality type, but you guys get what I mean. <laughs> they're not grumpy villagers, they're like, Another word which I can't, I've got to look it up, it's going to bother me. What are they? Cranky villagers. Yeah, not grumpy, cranky. Basically the same thing, but yeah. Don't need your Rizzo. I have Fang and not really looking for another cranky villager right now. Again with Fidget Spinner Island. I feel like I come here the most. 
Koala villager! Ozzy! Hi! <laughs> He's got a catchphrase of old bear. He's cute. What's his personality? Oh, he's a lazy villager. Oh, but he's cute. Oh my goodness. Mm. You know what? I think if I'm not going to get a sisterly villager, I might take a lazy villager. My only thing with lazy villagers is that they take forever to build friendship with, first of all, because I've been trying to get Boomer's picture for forever, but he just won't give it to me. Second of all, they also take ages to move out. Like, one of the first lazy villagers that I ever had on my island was Cube. And once I became, like, best friends with Cube and he gave me his photo, it took me months to get him to move out. It was painful. So, that is the only downside that there is to lazy villagers. Don't know if you guys have ever experienced the same thing. But yeah, they're, they're just not worth the effort for me, I feel. Up, up we go. Let's see who's on this island. Oh my goodness. I don't know her name, but she, I think, is a sisterly villager. Paula. Aesthetically, not a fan. But could be the villager that we need to have an all-rounded eye island. Let me check real quick. Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so Paula is a peppy, but later sisterly bear villager from the Animal Crossing series. So she was peppy, but they've now made her sisterly. Interesting. And like I said, aesthetically, not my favorite, but could be the one that we need. Huh. I don't know guys I mean I've been at this for an hour haven't really found anyone else I like she is a sisterly villager who I do need and aesthetically she's not my favorite and yeah I, I just don't know because there's very few sisterly villagers and honestly none of the sisterly villagers are very pretty like Canberra is not very pretty I think Phoebe is a sisterly villager, she's the ostrich, and she looks pretty cool, I'm a fan of Phoebe, she's pretty cool. But yeah, none of the other sisterly villagers are very nice looking, which <laughs> is a struggle. But yeah, I think, I think we're going to have to do it guys, I think we're going to take her. I don't know when I'm going to come across another sisterly villager. I don't know if I'm going to come across another villager that I'll actually like because honestly tonight it's been kind of slim pickings. Honestly, even if Snake reappeared and I saw him, I would probably take him back because the area on my island where his house is is very his aesthetic and I would love to have Snake in my island where he didn't have his beginner house because that was like the eyesore every time I went into his house. But yeah, I think I think we're doing this. I think we're taking Paula, so yeah, <laughs> I came out here with a mission and I guess I've succeeded in that. Let's go. Let's talk again. Hello, Paula. This place is fun and all, but I don't know. I think I need to shake things up, Yodelay. Oh my god, her catchphrase is Yodelay. I kind of love that. Maybe a day on an empty-ish island is aiming too low. Maybe I need to really get away. Get away to my island. <laughs> Cutting right to it, huh? You sure you want someone like me around? Also, where are you from anyway? First of all, sis, I'm not really sure if I want you around, but also I feel like I might be missing some DIYs from you, so let's have it, and we're from Reverie. Oh, Reverie, I think I've heard of it. Is it nice there? Yes, honey, we're a five-star island. You know, I think a move might be exactly what I need to drag myself out of my rut. Relatable. Plus, I'll have you Ryan to introduce me to everyone and show me where the cool parties are and stuff. Fabulous. Oh, I'm great at stuff. <laughs> You're on. Wow, I totally didn't expect to make any huge decisions all the way out here, but that's fate for you. Guess I got some paperwork to do. Who do I need to talk to you about that? Tom Nook. 
because Tom Nook runs the world, bitch. Cool, I'll bug him and get that rock rolling. Be there soon, Yodele. Alrighty. Nice, we got a villager and we're back once again to having a well-rounded island with a personality type for every villager or every villager of a different personality type or something like that, yeah. <laughs> we did it guys, we did it. And not only that, but I actually still have a bunch of Nook Miles, which is good that I didn't use all my Nook Miles. I think I started with maybe like 127,000. And now we're on 107,000. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. So, yeah. I guess that would bring us to the end of this villager hunting video. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And let me know in the comments below what kind of suggestions for Animal Crossing videos that you guys have for me. Because, honestly, I'm not really sure what other Animal Crossing videos that I want to do. Because my island is mostly complete and looking the way that I want it to, I don't really think I'll be doing many decorating videos from here on out. But if you guys have any suggestions of anything you want to see, then let me know and maybe I will consider making it. But yeah, that's it for me for now guys. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.